We're here to talk about one of my favorite objects in the entire National Museum of American History collections. It's a Statue of Liberty made by the Coalition of Immokalee Workers, or the CIW, in 2000. They took this statue that they made on a 230-mile march for dignity, dialogue, and a fair wage. And it's this fabulous piece that represents liberty, diversity, inclusion, and also labor rights. Workers come from all over to pick tomatoes in Immokalee, Florida. This is a difficult job, backbreaking work. They work very long hours in the sweltering heat and very little pay, which is one of the reasons why they were going on this march. They were advocating for better labor conditions. They were asking for one penny more per bucket of tomatoes. So as a result of the march, they were able to negotiate one penny more with this large distributor of tomatoes. And as a result, they've become one of the more successful movements for rights and justice in agricultural labor. When the Coalition of Immokalee Workers created this statue, they used mostly materials from a hardware store. They wanted materials that would be made to last, that were materials for outside use. They wanted to take it on a march, a 230 mile march. It would be outside in the elements. And so they selected mostly materials that would withstand that kind of heat and outside weather. It's a combination of kind of paper mache, but then also they use painter's cloth to drape the fabric and really get the look of the fabric of the Statue of Liberty. She's holding a bucket in her left arm, and the bucket is actually a bucket from the fields, but it's painted red, and they made paper mache tomatoes with little felt leaves that they put inside of the bucket. The fact that these agricultural workers were asking for one penny more for the, an entire bucket of tomatoes is really telling for the amount of work that goes into getting the food from the fields onto your table. I love that she's carrying a tomato above her head and one might ask, is she challenging you? Is she throwing it or is she holding it aloft? So the Immokalee Statue of Liberty was designed by artist and activist Kat Rodriguez. And specifically, Kat designed the statue to reflect both the kind of traditional green patina of the Statue of Liberty, but then with a bronze skin tone that really reflected the actual workers in the fields of Immokalee, Florida, who are mostly Mexican, Haitian, Mayan, and Guatemalan. And so this statue really kind of challenges our ideas of what these national symbols mean. I really like the statue's face. <laughs> I think that she has a no-nonsense look about her. I see myself in her, not only in terms of like the bronze skin tone and the dark hair, but I see, I see myself and I see so many other people who work in the fields and who have been part of the fabric of the nation and maybe haven't always been recognized. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol for immigration, a symbol for inclusion, and it actually deliberately makes us think about whether we are included, whether all of us belong, whether we're all part of the nation and the fabric of the nation, and it, and it makes the statement that we are.